Hey everyone, this is Bikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video. In this video today, we are going to talk about WordPress, cPanel and how we can create subdomain in cPanel and install WordPress into it. So it's a really easy process. So I just wanted to show you guys how we can do that. So if you have a cPanel and if you have domain on it and you don't really know how to create subdomain and how to install WordPress in, into that subdomain, then this video is going to help you to do that. So we'll go ahead and start by creating the subdomain in our cPanel and we will create the subdirectory for our subdomain. And after that, we will go ahead and use the, the automatic installation of WordPress using the software that we have in our cPanel. And in the upcoming videos, we will talk about how we can install the WordPress manually into our main domain and in our subdomain as well. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel then make sure you have subscribed and click the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we will upload that video into our channel let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna log into my cpanel so i have my cpanel inside this domain called simplegan and i'm just going to access the cpanel using the cpanel subdirectory here and it's going to check for some securities and everything after that, we can log into our cPanel using the username and password. And I assume that you already have the cPanel with you right now. So let's go and get log into the, your cPanel dashboard. And once you log into the cPanel dashboard, you can see all these uh, sections here. And we have to go to the domain section. So let's scroll down to the domain section. Here it is. And here you can see lots of uh, options there. You can see site publisher, domains, add in domains and subdomains. Here we'll go to the subdomain section. And now here you can select the domain that you want to create the subdomain with. So here I want to select the main domain that I have here, simplegan.com. And here I will give the subdomain name. So this is going to be the name that you're going to use to access the subdomain. So I'm just going to give the name, let's say create. Okay. So I want to create this subdomain called create.simplegan.com. And when you click on this document route, it's going to create that subdomain, uh, that directory for you. So all you can do is click on create. And after that, it's going to create the subdomain for you. And if you go to that particular subdomain, you can access that. So it is displaying the default page here. Now we'll go ahead and install the WordPress inside this subdomain. Okay. Now the installing WordPress is really easy if you use the software that comes with this cPanel. And in my case, you can see we have the Subtaculous app installer. And if I click on WordPress, Now to install the WordPress into the subdomain that we have just created, we can click on install now here. And here we need to select the subdomain that we have just created. And in our case, that is create.simplegan.com. And make sure you don't have any directory given here because we have already assigned the directory for this subdomain. So if you give anything here, then it's going to install the sub uh, WordPress in the wrong subdirectory. Okay. And now here you can give the title for your blog or your subdomain, whatever it is that you want to give. And you can set the description as well. And if you are thinking about enabling the multi-site, then you can check this. But generally that's not the case for maximum for the general user. So I will not check that. And here you can set the admin username and admin password. And here you can set the admin email and make sure you are giving the right email here. Otherwise, you you won't be able to reset your password if you forget it. Here you can select the language. And after that, I generally like to limit the install the loginizer as well as the classic editor. But if you don't want to install it, it's okay. And now if you click on install, it's going to install the WordPress for you. So it's going to take a few seconds. And once the installation is finished, it's going to give you all the information that you need for your new installation. Now you can see it says the WordPress has been installed successfully 
and if you click on the subdomain you can access your blog and you can also go to the dashboard of your blog okay and from here you can do whatever you want to do with your subdomain so that's how we install the wordpress and now if you want to uninstall this wordpress then you can actually just go back there into the wordpress dashboard and from here you'll see the new installation and to uninstall it just click on the remove button here and you'll get all the information about the installation that you are going to remove and click on remove installation and if you click on ok it's going to remove the installation for you and you won't be able to access the website okay and now from here it's gone and also if you want to remove the subdomain itself then you can come here go to the subdomain section and remove the subdomain that you have just created in my case that is created simplegan.com so i'm just going to remove it and it's going to delete the subdomain permanently and now i don't have that subdomain okay guys so this is how you create the subdomain install the wordpress in it and remove it from the wordpress installation and from the cpanel as well so i hope you learned something from this video if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next tutorial video